With record temperatures being predicted and a state of emergency being announced, this week it was time to experience our first ever heatwave in our tiny camper van here in the UK. Good morning, Beans. You are joining us here in bed, you lucky (laughs) (laughs) Not everybody gets to join us in bed, you know. (laughs) Some. That sounds so bad. Is that what you're trying to imply? That some people get to enjoy the bed. They don't. We have a very strict, traditional, monogamous relationship. (laughs) In case you're wondering. (laughs) We are enjoying the last bits of the UK summer for us in Somerset at the moment. And there has been warnings all week across the UK of this impending heat wave. I know. And the worrying thing is, today's not even supposed to be one of like the hotter days. And it's already like an oven in here. Yeah. It's so hot. Jesus. Like... Touching this is so hot. It's so, so warm. I woke up at like, I think it was like half six or seven this morning and had to open the door, open all the vents and everything because it was like a little oven. And I am actually wondering if it's going to be better in the camper van than it would be in a house here in the UK because the houses here aren't really built for hot weather. Yeah, they're built to keep the heat in. Yeah. Exactly, not the cold in. The warnings for the heatwave are saying that the temperatures could reach up to 40 degrees. And even if it doesn't get even close to that high, I don't care what you say, for some reason in the UK it seems like when it's hot here, it's hotter than in other countries. So when it's like 30 degrees, I swear it's the equivalent of 40 in another country. (laughs) Even though maybe people aren't going to agree with me, but that's just how it feels to me. (laughs) I think it's just like I was saying before, like the houses and things here aren't built for the heat. For example, if you're in a country that is built for it, i.e. the US, and you walk into a shop or something, you get the lovely air conditioning, hit you in the face as you walk in, it's very nice. You don't get that here. It's just hot everywhere. So we don't have AC basically in the buildings, but also our van very much does not have AC, even including when we're driving, which (laughs) when you're stuck in traffic, it is not ideal. No. This is hopefully the way we're going to survive this. Our camper van luckily has a lovely pop top. So we're hoping all the heat is going to kind of rise up here and go out these side vents. That's what we're hoping. Maybe a bit of breeze coming in would be nice as well. Um, but other than that, we don't really have many methods of keeping this cool. Yeah, other if than that doesn't work, windows. then nothing works. Yeah, exactly. We've already hung up some sheets and things to just stop the sun being able to actually get into the van. We've also got some reflector panels in the front cab here, which should do a fairly decent job of keeping a bit of the heat out. But other than that, we're pretty ill prepared. <laughs> This is our first summer in the van. We have already stress tested this in Austria in crazy minus 20 conditions and it survived beautifully. So if we survive this, we know we can basically do any weather conditions. Yes, especially in the UK because generally we don't have that extreme of weather. Well, I've just explained that the UK is way hotter than any other country's ever been. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get it. Did I get it? You let him out! (laughs) And now he's really angry! Got him! Ha! Ha! Sorry, but you just cannot stay in here. Yeah, that's one thing I'm really not a fan of. Are things that bite and sting. Well, I feel like most people probably aren't that. <laughs> yeah, who's, the bite sting. who's gonna come out oh, of it? I, I love it. Love a wasp, I do. <laughs> love a wasp. Bed thing. bugs, lovely. <laughs> I am taking the appropriate precautions, and I am <laughs> thickly layering up. You there, haven't even rubbed it in, me. There's no need to. <laughs> there has been a red warning. I think it's red warning, something like that, for this heat wave. Oh no. And I. I'm not someone who wants to spend eight hours on a flight to New York with a big burn. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, now, how do I get this to go in? (laughs) Yes. Oh, my goodness. You fell in love with me for my brain. And this is my brain at work. (laughs) We are staying at a campsite near Al's parents for the next few days just to say goodbye before we head off on our US adventure. By staying nearby, we get all of the benefits 
and none of the negatives of staying with them. What are the negatives, Al? There are no Your negatives. Watch these videos. There are no negatives Tell of them. staying with you, Julian Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a 34 year old man now, and I just like to have my own space. <laughs> It's actually only a fairly short walk to go and see them, so we're going to head over there now and I'll show you a little bit around the campsite on the way. So we've got this really nice pitch with all this woods. We've set up a little outdoor kitchen over here, got our seats. We're hoping that the woods and the shade will protect yep. us. We are very lucky to have this corner with a bit of shade, although it's a pretty good campsite and there's a lot of little trees dotted around, so you can easily find a little spot in the shade if you want to. I really like the names on this campsite as well. We've got well hard because we're near a well. I'm guessing the Americans wouldn't actually know what that means, but if you're like, you're well hard, <laughs> then you're just like a hard man, but what? not in that way, <laughs> more in that way. You're sharing too much again, are you? <laughs> I grew up in this area since I was a little bambino and it's always nice to come back. It's very weird to be staying not at my parents' house when I'm in this area. But it's such a lovely little village, this village of Kewstoke, and we have already made a video of it in the past, which I think has the best thumbnail ever. Oh, so no, it's the worst thumbnail. I look horrendous. <laughs> so if you're interested in learning more about this area in particular, go back and watch that video. It's a lot of fun, and yeah, you get to see again one more time that photo of Emma. <laughs> After some family time, we had dinner back at the van before a cool evening stroll along the beach. Good morning. It's everyone's favourite time. Mm. How did you sleep in the heatwave? Mm. I just wake up every day at 5am now. It gets hot and light and noisy. It is very hot in here. These things do help a lot in opening this, but still not perfect. This video is sponsored by our friends over at Jackery, whose continued support of our channel means that we can continue to create more videos each week. And we thought while we're getting ready for the day, we may as well make the use of this glorious sunshine and charge up our Jackery. For the past year, we have been using the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 and we absolutely love it, especially after our last camping trip where we found out that this is powerful enough for us to hook up both our Nintendo Switch and our projector to have a night full of gaming whilst off grid. It was ridiculously fun to be able to not only game but to be able to beat Emma <laughs> in a new environment. So cheeky, always. If you're wondering what a solar generator is, it absorbs energy from the sun through the solar panels, converting it into usable energy and storing it inside a power station for use at a later time. For example, gaming all night, straightening your hair, using various kitchen appliances, whatever you might want to use it for. Jackery's theme for this week is prep better, enjoy the solar way, which I think is especially relevant in these hot summer months where there might be storms or power outages. And having something like this as an extra backup power source is actually a really great idea. And just to wrap things up, if you were disappointed that you didn't win any of the Jackery giveaways in the past week, there are two more opportunities for you to win. Jackery are hosting another giveaway over on their YouTube channel which we will link down below and we are actually hosting our own over on our Instagram page so make sure to go and check out our latest Jackery post for all the details. So I haven't been sleeping very well the last couple of nights and it's not even got to the hot bit yet so I'm a little bit concerned of what future nights have in store. I always call Emma my Tamagotchi because I have to make sure that she's she's fed, she's watered, she's bathed <laughs> and, uh, and she sleeps enough because if she does she is an absolute pleasure to be around. And if I don't? Well you haven't been sleeping very well so I thought it was good if we try to make <laughs> the camping experience a lot better because oh. it isn't even the hottest part of this heat wave yet yeah. and it isn't very nice right now as it is. No. So we went to a camping shop and we found Emma a USB fan which yes. hopefully will 
fingers crossed it looks like you can hang it from the ceiling or just set it on the slide so hopefully that'll get a bit of airflow going through the night especially in the morning when it starts to heat up a little bit this is the only one they had as well so it's got a light we didn't want a light but you're gonna get a light you know yes yeah. beggars can't be choosers also something to make sure we you keep drinking you can't have too much water in the van can you especially when the weather is like this so i got these sensible options Alex, what did you buy? Okay, I'm an impulsive guy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's just say that, and I'm also very persuasive. I saw something that I thought looked like a must-buy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so things. just something small. Something okay, small for the I van. know we have quite a small van. I have been struggling <laughs> with the fact that there's loads of things I wanted to do in this video, and because it's so hot, we can't do basically any of them. So I wanted to make our camping space just a nicer place to be. We're gonna have like a full-on house set up by the end of this series. Well, we're not gonna store it in the van all the time. <laughs> it's just for like certain trips. What I like about this van is, you know, each trip you think, oh, what do we need? Like for example, this trip, we've taken the bigger toilet. Sometimes we take the collapsible toilet. It just depends on our needs. Okay, as I said, it's excessive. Yeah. <laughs> it's so big. That's what it's like when he undresses me. What, graceful? <laughs> Have you ever tried to take off a bra? <laughs> There's no training at school for that. <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> we just get to play with a banana. <laughs> okay, this here has taken our camping game to another level, guys. It's a bloody sofa. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Can I just say, we bought these collapsible chairs specifically because they don't take up much room in the van. So what does Al go and do? He buys a camping sofa. I've never even heard of a camping sofa. That was one reason I bought it. <laughs> I, I just had images of sitting in front of the fire, all cuddled up. That sounds romantic, doesn't it? Mm. I'm a romantic at heart. I mean, it is very, very comfy, I have to say. And she protests a lot. Everyone knows that who wears the trousers in this relationship. And if it was a flat out no, then you wouldn't have been bringing it back <laughs> you ride on my impulsive coattails <laughs> we're going to turn our campsite now into our little home and because there's not much we can do with this weather we've invited my best friend round to come and spend the afternoon with us hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've dug up this little beauty. A little blast from oh, past Oh my from now. goodness. <laughs> look at Al's little weedy face. You look exactly the same to be fair. Yeah. Just a little hairier. A little bit. Oh, a little just a tad. You're very red. Not much has changed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what is this? I must have thought that looked good. How old are we here? Uh, we were 14 there. 14, geez. Yeah. I mean, we look good for 14 year olds. <laughs> Are you just using this as an advertisement to be able to find a lady on this, on the YouTube Pretty channel? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. If you procreate with me, this is what you might get in return. <laughs> a strapping young lad to call your own. Uh, if you could get a girl like Em with a body like that, then I think it's hope for all of us. <laughs> what a combo. Like. What, the red? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? But I like, I like how your hand is sneaking towards my bottom. Yeah, uh, if you notice that. Oh wow! And I'm just, just Cheeky little gently, grab. just like gently, like not now, mate. Yeah, you're kind of like <laughs> not now. Come on, on, camera. Come on. Come <laughs> yeah, my Come mom's on. seeing this, mate. Nath needs to pee and there aren't any toilets at this campsite and I am stupidly excited actually because I get to take this big man into our van. <laughs> Leave me. Hey, come on toilets, you. Please, sir. Well the toilets are just I'll here. Have one of your finest toilets. Well like, I just think the size of this versus the size of you is just gonna be funny. So so yeah, so, see if you can figure it out. There we go. Wow, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but you know which hole you're peeing in. You're gonna have to sit down, you can't stand up oh, and do it. Oh, can you not stand up? <laughs> oh, right, great. Well, I'm, as I'm assuming <laughs> that I'm going in the front hole, because to go in the back hole would be a bit, you know. Ne we never ever do anything with the back hole. <laughs> no, back hole. <laughs> Promise. If we just lock you in, yep. and we'll right, see how you. it goes. Yeah. 
You gotta be careful with the drippage. How was it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Yeah. I could have done my stuff up in there, I guess, but... Um... <laughs> Would you ever be interested in van life, Nate, after an experience like that? I mean, I was up in an R in, but I think that sold it to me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bloody hot, mate. Even in the shade, it's hot. So hot. So hot and so tired. It's relentless. We have to talk about this van. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> I mean, Alex, how weak is this fan? On I feel like full it's barely temperature, a breeze. You can't even feel it here. No, it's so terrible. The light is actually the most useful part of it, funnily <laughs> enough. <laughs> it is a hot box in here. I'm absolutely sweltering. I'm a sweaty mess. It's disgusting. I love that you had to just touch it just to prove it's that you are so sweaty. It's so wet and so <laughs> gross. Honestly, I think the best way to keep the van cool is just to open all the windows, including the sliding door, because the breeze is our saving grace. It's and, the only thing to keep you going. And if there's no breeze, we're screwed. <laughs> I guess the only other thing we could do is sleep with the back doors wide open for like the breeze actually going through the van. Only trouble is... It's terrible timing, but the back door has appeared to stop working last night, and it just won't open. So Emma's pushing from the other side. We just... Oh no! It looks like it's the actual handle. It doesn't fully go back in. Oh. I've just been trying to kick it open and now I'm absolutely pooped. And I'm more sweaty than I was to begin with. <laughs> yeah, that is basically kind of ruins being in the van at all. Oh, why? Why now does the door have to break? I don't know what we're going to do. What are we going to do? <laughs> are we just going to melt? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this has happened two separate times. We go to leave. <laughs> How could I forget the Christmas pudding, Matt? <laughs> We tried to see out the heat of the day in the shade and it was kind of unbearable. Yeah. So we have quit and we're failures, massive failures. <laughs> we failed miserably, didn't we? We have come to Alex's parents' place, which isn't too far away, to hide away from the heat. And to be fair, at night it was fine. Very comfortable at night. And we could easily see it out. Yeah just uncomfortably yeah. and we're at this phase of our life where we aren't just going to feel uncomfortable for no reason. <laughs> there's no point when there's a perfectly nice house 10 minutes away, it's <laughs> nice and cold. We've both had some cold showers and we are feeling much more human now. We will be making some upgrades to our English van for the future for doing this, it just really wasn't set up for this kind of heat. Mm. Although we have kind of failed with the situation, I feel like there's always a lesson to be learned. And with our upcoming trip to the US, where we're going to be buying a camper van, I think it's so important for us to really realize how important having good airflow 
and air conditioning is gonna be for a summer in the US. We're gonna be driving back to the southeast this evening when it cools down and we'll be staying in the van for a couple of more days until we fly out to New York, I think in four days time. Eek! I'm so excited. <laughs> we will be filming one more video here in the UK before heading stateside, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified. And leave us a comment down below. Let us know how do you survive the hot temperatures? Because any tips would be welcome. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out.